A new survey in Britain has revealed a third of 12 to 17-year-olds wrongly think they can't catch HIV through unprotected sex. The Mark AIDS Fund sponsored research recovered over 900 teenagers between May and June 2014, suggests nearly 90% of teenagers believe they are not at risk at contracting HIV or AIDS in their lifetime. 37% of respondents thought smoking or drinking alcohol will be a greater risk to their health, compared to 27 who thought having unprotected sex could be detrimental. The charity is now calling for better education on the virus and disease. The the British government says as part of the new science curriculum, pupils will also be taught about sexually transmitted infections, which would include HIV and AIDS for the first time. According to Public Health England, in the 10 years to 2012, the number of gay men aged between 15 and 24 who are newly diagnosed with the virus more than doubled from 198 to 443. We asked Ghanaian teenagers what they knew about AIDS and the impact knowledge of infection has on their sex life. Um, I don't know much, but I heard that when you have unprotected sex, you can get HIV AIDS. And if you use blade with somebody you can also contract HIV AIDS. If I'm going to the barbering shop I'll take my own machine to the barber shop to barber my hair so that I'll be safe from HIV AIDS. It's a long time I heard about HIV AIDS but I think when I was in Form 1 a certain people came here and then they were talking about HIV AIDS and then they give us a book which is concerning about HIV AIDS. Some of the things they were saying that they said HIV AIDS can kill and then it is very it is very dangerous for a person to have H HIV is mm, all that I know about HIV is that it's a sexually transmitted disease uh, when a person is being infected by HIV is when you have sex with that person it you will also be infected with yes. it what I heard about preventing of this killer disease is just that maybe during sexual intercourse you need to use contraceptive to or uh, it's other that you, you won't involve yourself in sexual immorality. No, I don't know much about it, but I've seen someone who's infected, like one of my uncle is infected, having unprotected sex with someone. So when you use a sharp object that someone is infected with HIV, which you can get it, or using brush with the person infected, which you are going to get one. The human immune deficiency virus attacks the immune system, wearing down the body leading to death. I save the scramble for Africa which led to the invasion, occupation, colonization and annexation of African territory by European powers during the period of new imperialism between 1881 and 1914 was not enough, an act of impedience from an American man who has claimed a small patch of Africa because his daughter wants to be a princess is truly daring to say the least. Jeremy Hitton says he traveled from Virginia with his flag to proclaim the area Kingdom of North Sudan, which lies between Egypt and Sudan. Although Hitton has put in an official request to both countries, for the 800 square miles arid desert, neither has responded. According to Hitton, his seven-year-old daughter Emily asked if one day she would be a princess and being a dedicated father, he researched pieces of land that were unclaimed and was fortunate to discover the kingdom of North Sudan. The American says he planted the flag his daughter had designed in the ground on 16th June and insists his claims is legitimate, although he has plans of contacting the African Union for support. Princess Emily, as she is now called by her family, has ordered her new land to become a center for agriculture and now wears her royal crown at all times. It remains to be seen how serious African leaders view this attempt by Hitton to possess land in Africa, although Egypt, Sudan and the United Nations would have to recognize the kingdom of North Sudan before Emily officially becomes the daughter of a king.